What's going on guys? Mitch here and today we're taking a look at a pair of cages from my friends over at Envy and uh, these are the CIM water bottle cage and uh, let's be honest they're half the price of their standard bottle cage. They're made in the States and they weigh 31 grams I think. Uh, I think this is going to be a huge huge hit uh, just based on my initial impressions taking a look at them taking a look at the build quality so we're going to have a casual conversation before I throw these guys onto the Aspero uh, which will be done as soon as I'm done filming this video because I want to go for a ride and uh, need some bottle cages so I'm going to take one put it aside but I've got a pair of them and you'll see them on the bikes uh, well pretty quick here it'll be in the vlog so let's take a look at it um, off the hop, we've got a front loading or a top loading type actuation on the bottle. It's not left, right, it's, it's or sorry, it's not left, it's not right. It's right at the top, which is kind of where you want it to be. Um, on the back of the tag here, this is a Canadian price, but there we go, 50 bucks. I think it's 30 US. We just get gouged on exchange. Uh, NVCIM top load cage, country of origin, United States. They're made in Utah, which is pretty sick. Please drink responsibly, and I think what they're trying to say there is, uh, you know, ensure you're getting that at minimum 120 grams of carbs an hour an hour for very basic rides, uh, like my friend Rob does, going to, to uh, various candy stops on his gravel rides. We've got the Envy logo in here that looks real, real nice. Nice and sharp. Kind of, to be honest, I think this one might be nicer than the other. Double the price Envy cage. Now they say that it's a carbon composite, uh, long injection molded carbon, so uh, it doesn't have the traditional look. It looks more like your standard composite, which is probably why uh, it's a little bit less pricey, which is fine. Um, there's not much to show about it. I'm gonna go grab a bottle and throw it in here just to show you what that kind of clunk and whatnot looks like, feels like, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So give me two secs, I'll go grab a bottle. All right, let's see what this is. Um, I've got a standard size water bottle. I think this is, uh, well, does it even say on here? Uh, pretty, I don't know, 700 mil or something, 650. Uh, so they say it's very tight. That's what she said, but let's find out. That snaps in there real nice. That's not going anywhere. And from my experience with, uh, with the other Envy cage, um, I would actually prefer it to be a little bit tighter because I've had some bottles, like they haven't fallen out or anything, but it's very delicate on entry. Like I wouldn't want to probably use those cages on the gravel bike. So this is nice and firm. It feels like, you know, a king cage would. As you can tell, it just kind of slams in there. Look at that. Snap. Ooh. Beautiful. So... That's what's going to end up on the Aspero, nice and light, and once again, you buy cages for a, a long period of time, they come with their own screws, which is a nice touch. I always suggest using whatever is in your frame, but uh, it is cool to have those. And, uh, you know, as I was saying, you buy these for, uh, you know, to have for quite a while, because the last few pairs of cages I've had were, geez, three, four, five, six years old, never had any issues, just ended up selling them with the bike. So uh, it's fun to try out new stuff, but that's enough of me yipping and yapping about a new bottle cage. I will uh, leave you on that note. They are adjustable and top loading, and that's about it. So there's not really a whole lot to it. They seem super light, seem well made, and uh, they hold water bottles. So there you go. If you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And until next time, I will catch you later. Follow the vlogs and see them in action every single morning on Monday. All right, guys, have a good week. Peace.